pictures that come straight from the camera often require editing and optimization. Some pictures may not be exposed correctly. Others may have been recorded with an incorrect white balance, or they simply don't turn out the way you had hoped. Thanks to the professional editing options in Magix Video Pro X, you can correct these kind of flaws easily and edit the recordings until they meet your expectations. If the camera was not precisely aligned horizontally on the tripod, for example, you can easily correct the sloping video image later. You'll find the necessary tools in the Effects tab under Movement Effects. Select menu item Rotation Mirror. Use the Straighten Horizon option to easily correct the picture's tilt. As the picture is rotated, it is cropped and enlarged automatically to avoid empty image areas. This procedure obviously is not loss-free. However, if the degree of rotation is kept to a low level, quality loss is minimal and will barely be noticed. Now switch to the Video Effects tab and select the menu item Brightness Contrast. Here you may easily correct pictures that were not exposed correctly. The Auto Exposure option is the fastest way to correct exposure problems. The picture is analyzed and the right exposure correction selected and applied automatically. Of course, you may also regulate the video image's brightness and contrast manually and individually. The Selective Brightness function is of particular interest. Select the luminance area that you wish to change via the presets. In our case, we will choose medium colors, meaning that only the selective brightness of the medium colors will be changed via the sliders. To get the most out of your pictures, the color correction feature is also very helpful. If the camera's white balance was not set correctly, for example, or if the color scheme of the picture does not meet your expectations. To retroactively change a picture's white balance, simply go to the Effects tab Color. Use the Color Eyedropper located in the White Balance section to define the parts in the image that should be displayed in white. If you find the colors of the video image are not saturated enough, you can adjust them using the slider for saturation. The color wheel lets you change the video image's color in its entirety. While the sliders, located further below, let you individually increase or reduce the proportions of the color channels red, green and blue. This is useful if your picture appears to have a red tint, for example. In this case, reduce the value for the red channel to a value below 50 until it looks good to you. Please note that a calibrated monitor is required for correct color editing. You'll find even more setting options in the Effects tab, Color Correction. The three-way color correction feature in Video Pro X offers a wide variety of options for correcting, optimizing and distorting images with many effects. To begin with, we will work only on the master level. You can do individual color corrections for shadows, mids and lights. With the color wheels and sliders located below, you may easily edit the color angle and correction level. The lowest slider regulates saturation. This is also where you'll find the secondary color correction function, which can be used to create the popular color pass effect, well known from motion pictures like Sin City. Select the areas which you don't want to turn black and white. To do so, use the magic wand to select the colors in the program monitor that you wish to retain. If, inadvertently, you selected an area that you didn't want to include, simply go to Foreground Selection Mode and select Extract and then click on the desired sections in the image. Once you've selected the required areas, change into the Foreground Layer Mode. This way, you will only edit the areas you selected beforehand. Edit the colors as needed. 
In our example, we've intensified the picture saturation to give it an even more dramatic effect. If you switch to the background layer, you may reduce the saturation of the remaining image areas until the image looks the way you want.